We got the fire warm and the stars are out tonight All I need is you and I You're the one I adore and with you by my side We are free in paradise When you kiss me, I feel like paradise It may be the coldest outside, but When you touch me, it's like a summer night It may be the coldest outside, but Hello Scorpio. This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 24th of October until the 30th of October 2016. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Ten of Wands. You have reached the end of a cycle after a period of struggle. You are finally reaping your rewards after investing a lot of hard work and effort. You have fulfilled a creative venture, realized a dream or accomplished a major goal, and now must deal with the consequences of that fulfillment. Even with the achievement of your goal, there comes with it great responsibilities and commitments. While you have reached a point of completion, you are becoming starkly aware that you must now carry on with the responsibilities you have laid out for yourself, in order to ensure ongoing success. The trouble is, however, that these responsibilities may become too much to bear and you are struggling to let go. It is a bit like the business owner who creates a flourishing business but who is unprepared to delegate some of his, her responsibilities to the staff and ends up working 70-80 hours a week. The inspiration and creativity that was associated with the initial goal or vision rapidly disappears, and everything becomes hard work all too quickly. Thus, it is incredibly important to let go of or delegate some of your responsibilities in order to free you up to still enjoy life. The Ten of Wands serves as a reminder of how much we take on in our lives and all the extra burdens and responsibilities we weigh ourselves down with. We take on so much, trying to do all the things that need to be done. Thus, this card asks you to stop and examine your current lifestyle or work. Assess which activities or tasks are really urgent or really important particularly in relation to your broader goals. You may need to employ various time management or prioritization methods in order to determine where best to spend your time and which tasks you can drop. Your goal needs to be greater efficiency, whilst also freeing yourself up for rest and relaxation when you need it. This card can also mean that you are being oppressed by outside sources. You are overworked, overtired and overstimulated. You have more on your plate than you can possibly handle and you have taken on too much at this point in time. In an effort to get to the finish line, you have found yourself overwhelmed with the extra responsibility and activity. You need to stop working so hard. If you cannot stop, then conserve your energy and pace yourself. When you are overcommitted everything becomes a strain. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Nine of Swords. What do you want most right now is the end of the fear and anxiety inside your mind. Your experience of the world is greatly influenced by our expectations, desires, and fears, and therefore you are largely the creator of your own world, and your attitudes determine how you experience that world. The Nine of Swords can also reflect fear of the future, or what may possibly happen in the future. If you allow yourself to be bound by fear of the future, you are at risk of eventually creating a negative reality for yourself by virtue of your expectations. Your nightmare becomes your self-fulfilling prophecy, which is clearly not a desirable outcome. 
Generally, this card is an indication that you are worrying excessively about a situation. You are literally being kept up at night because you are so anxious about a particular issue. It is possible you are working yourself up unnecessarily and, if you were to look at the situation more objectively, you may come to realize that it is not as bad as you are making it out to be. In fact, all that worry and despair is what is making it worse, so rather than fretting about it, do something to change it. Although most people experience fear, frustration and uncertainty at some point in their lives, you should not allow those negative emotions to immobilize you or keep you from pursuing your goals with enthusiasm and hope. Expect at least some level of uncertainty in the future, and draw upon your inner strength to remain as flexible and adaptable to that uncertainty as possible. The Nine of Swords can also indicate that you are being incredibly hard on yourself, putting yourself down or engaging in negative self-talk. For every mistake you make, you blame yourself and become worked up and angry at yourself for messing up again. So. Ask yourself why you are being so hard on yourself, how are you putting yourself down or what is the source of your depression? What can you do to make yourself feel better? The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the page of pentacles. You are afraid of manifesting your dreams and goals. There may be current blockages standing in the way of you achieving those goals. It may be that you have not planned sufficiently, or that you have become lazy and complacent and have lost sight of your goal. You may also be too busy daydreaming about new dreams and goals, without having taken any action on your original dreams and goals. So, you need to review your goals and think again about why you were originally motivated to achieve them. Think about what it will be like once you achieve that goal, and become recommitted to your objectives and the actions required to make your dreams a reality. You are focusing on short-term pleasures and desires rather than sustainable and long-term goals. You will need to move beyond material satisfaction and towards what will bring you sustainable happiness and fulfillment. Similarly, you may be finding it difficult to get a specific project or idea off the ground. Each time you try, it seems to amount to nothing, or it takes you even further away from where you want to be. There is a lack of success here and a mounting frustration that perhaps you will never be able to achieve what you want. You may be losing faith in your talents and abilities. If this is the case, relax, lighten up and give yourself some space and downtime for a short period. Take a holiday or a break from your usual routine, and you will find that this helps you to re-energize and refocus. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the five of cups. You are feeling disappointed that a situation has not turned out as you had hoped, and instead of moving on to greener pastures, you are wallowing in self-pity and regret about what has been lost. The water spilled from the cups shows that the cause for regret is more emotional than financial. You are quickly becoming disillusioned with life and increasingly pessimistic about your future. You are also having trouble letting go of the past and learning from your mistakes. This card can often reflect a person who is caught up in the past and unable to move on, missing out on new opportunities. Bitter memories from the past continue to bother you, and often a great deal of the blame for past actions is placed on yourself and your inadequacies. To some it would seem that there is no way out of this situation but the tarot always shows problems on one hand and solutions on the other. Forgiveness and the ability to recover after emotional loss are necessary. If you are feeling disappointed by another person's actions, and then find it within your heart to forgive that person, releasing yourself from the disappointment. You may also need to reassess your expectations that have led you to this disappointment. Were you expecting too much? 
Remember, too, that hindsight is much clearer than foresight and present day wisdom is gained from the mistakes of the past. Reflect on what lead you to this point and understand what important lessons you can take from the experience. Even when things go pear-shaped, there is always something positive that can be gained by reflecting on the lessons learned. While it is true that much has been lost, there is still a ray of hope because some of the cups in this card remain full and upright. You must not pity yourself when you find yourself in his situation. Instead of looking at the situation from a glass's half-empty perspective, look at it from a glass's half-full perspective. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the four of swords. You are feeling restless and wanting to do everything at once. Even if your body is telling you that you need to rest and relax, your mind may be pushing you forward trying to accomplish a long list of tasks. You may be getting quite sick or stressed as a result, so it is vital that you force yourself to pause and take it easy to ensure that you do not become completely run down and exhausted. You may also be trying to avoid any period of contemplation or meditation on a particular issue because you are worried about what it might bring up. You need to return to the energy of the Three of Swords and confront the pain and grief that exists within your heart. You need to experience that pain as it is preventing you from being able to move on. Once you have experienced it, it will begin to subside and you will be able to live a more fulfilling life. This is also a time of stagnation and a lack of action that is leading to increased frustration. For example, a long-term marriage is no longer progressing and is spiritually and emotionally empty. You may need to take a break from this stalled situation and come back to it when the energy is flowing better. Similarly, you are feeling frustrated with the lack of progress and change in your life. Many things have stood still or have failed to change in the way you were hoping they would. Part of this lack of change however, is as a result of your passive approach. There may have been situations that were frustrating to you or that you were unhappy with but you may have opted to just sit it out and hope that they would eventually change, rather than taking action to create a more desirable outcome. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the King of Wands. There would be a male significant figure in your life, most likely from fire signs, who is goal-oriented and full of creativity. He is a natural-born leader of all kinds of people, and he is very visionary. Once he sets himself a goal, he sticks to it and ensures that he can make it happen with the support of those around him. People naturally gravitate towards this king as they know he will get things done and will do it very well. He is a master, too, at being able to get other people to do his work for him, and keep them on side throughout the process. He looks forward to challenges because he enjoys the natural rush of adrenaline associated with solving a difficult problem and coming to a solution that will benefit not just one person but many people. In the process, he not only rids himself of his own fear but that of others by reassuring them that they shall all succeed. He is not all talk, either, and when the going gets tough, he is prepared to do the hard yards to see something through to the end. The King of Wands has a deep and innate respect for other people, and his compassion extends far. He knows how to bring out the best in others and to empower them to deliver his visions and goals, which he knows will be of benefit to the greater population. If this king represents yourself, you are someone who is very visionary and goal-oriented. You achieve a lot because you are very clear about your future direction and how you will get there. You do not waste your time on activities or relationships that you believe will lead nowhere. You never just go with the flow, instead you prefer to embark on a strong and direct course of action. The King of Wands reminds you to lead your life with intent, 
vision and a long-term view. Know that even though you are experiencing challenges now this is just a part of your journey to something much more positive. Eventually, you will see this time as just a little blip on the radar and it will have simply served to make you stronger. Stay focused on your long-term goals. The appearance of the King of Wands also suggests that an opportunity is presenting itself to you, and you now have the power to accept the opportunity and take on the challenge. You are the determining factor in this situation, and circumstances will navigate in the direction you steer them. Indecision or doubt will not be appropriate responses when clarity and confidence are acquired. However, as you progress in this new role, it will begin to feel more comfortable. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the Sanat Kumara. You are here to light up the world. You may feel that you are being pushed or that there is a lot going on at once, and this is because your energy is magnetic to others and they want it in their life. Take the time to listen to your inner voice. Remember the cosmic light of heaven and draw it into you. That is all you need to do to inspire the world. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.